The Last Day of Kindergarten by Nancy Lowen, read by Grandpa Tom. Today is the last day of kindergarten. I wish it were the first, then I'd meet Miss Pompinski all over again. I'd hang my very own backpack on my very own hook. My markers would be bright and inky. My crayons would be pointy and new. If it were the first day of kindergarten, I'd have so much to look forward to this year. I'd play house or grocery store during creative playtime. I'd dress up as a tiger for the Halloween parade. I'd lose my first tooth biting into Sammy McGregor's birthday cupcakes. But today is the last day of kindergarten. We don't read stories. We don't work on our numbers or letters. Instead, we wash the tables. We throw out the stubbiest crayons and the dried up paints. We take our pictures off the wall. Mrs. Popinski gathers us in a circle for sharing time. It's the last time we ever sit crisscross applesauce together. I am so proud of all of you, Mrs. Popinski says. You have learned so much this year, but kindergarten is ending. Summer is beginning. What are your favorite things about summer? Staying up late? Swimming? Picnics in the park? Running through the sprinkler? Eating blue raspberry ice pops on the front steps? Let's talk about first grade, Mrs. Popinski says. What are you looking forward to the most? Eating lunch in the cafeteria? Field trips? Writing stories? Recess, making new friends, playing on the big kids' playground. Wow, Mrs. Popinski says. You're going to be fantastic first graders, I can just tell. She looks at the clock and stands up. Okay, class, it's time. We put on the funny hats that we made out of poster board and yarn. We make sure our faces are clean. Then we line up and walk down the hall to the auditorium. I peek over Mason's shoulder and see a crowd. People pointing cameras at the stage. Little brothers and sisters squirming on laps. Oh, I see Mommy and Daddy, and Grandma and Grandpa and Aunt Dee. This afternoon, they're going to take me out for ice cream, and I can order whatever I want. Mr. Meyer starts playing a serious song on the piano. It makes me want to cry. It makes me want to march. It makes me want to stand up straight and tall. This is it. I'm walking onto the stage. I'm reciting our ABC farewell poem without making any mistakes. I'm singing zippity doo dah and clapping in all the right places. I'm shaking hands with the principal. Kindergarten is over. I did it! First grade, here I come! The End